The 2023 NHL Draft already looks to have a ton of steals with players like Matt Vimichkov, Zach Benson, Gavin Brindley going way lower than they should have. But there's one player who was drafted in the first round who's looking like an absolute future stud for the New York Rangers, and that is Gabe Perot, who was drafted 23rd overall. It was already looking like a great pick on draft day, but every single day throughout this year, it's somehow continued to get even better. But just how good is Gabe Perot? How much of a draft steal is he becoming at 23rd overall? And what could he become for the New York Rangers in the future? Well, make sure you watch till the end as we go through the full scouting report to see how he's doing with BC this year, to see what's next. And hit that subscribe button if you're new for more hockey and hockey prospect talk just like this all throughout the year. Now, we're going to get into just how good Pro has been and how good he will be for the New York Rangers as well. But first, we're going to go through today's NHL picks sponsored by Sleeper Fantasy. If you don't know already, Sleeper Fantasy is the best way to turn your hockey knowledge into payday. All you got to do is select different players throughout today's NHL action and select more or less on them on different categories, whether it be shots, points, power play points, anything you want to do. Sleeper Fantasy gives you the option. And today we're going to go with two different picks here. Evan Bouchard and Seth Jarvis higher than 0.5 points. It's two guys that have been especially hot lately and two guys that are going against not the greatest teams right now in Chicago and Arizona. Honestly, though, I just love making sleeper picks, even when I'm not even doing these segments. It's just so much fun. And especially with the kind of these lower bets, it's so easy to just rack up wins and rack up money in the end. Make sure you guys go in the description, click on my link and download Sleeper Fantasy. And if you want to get the best deal on Sleeper, make sure you use promo code GRAB when you make your first deposit and you can get up to a $500 match. If you put in $20, you'll get 20 free bucks. It's one heck of an offer there. And for a little bit of extra fun, when you guys sign up with my code, make sure you guys send me on Twitter a screenshot of your picks, of your daily choices. I want to see what you guys end up coming up with. And of course, thank you to Sleeper Fantasy for sponsoring today's video. Now, folks, let's talk about Gabe Perot, who has been so astronomically good for Boston College this season. It's almost kind of ridiculous. We talk quite a bit about Gabe Perot and the channel really over the past year or so, because it's interesting in that second half of the 2023 draft process, he was probably one of the biggest risers on my entire board he went from a guy that was kind of a second rounder maybe a late first at best to a top 20 pick guaranteed for me and I became such a big fan of his that he ultimately landed 14th in my draft rankings last year a player that really exploded and I thought got the attention he deserved but you can see as a right wing 5'11", 165 pounds coming from Quebec, this is a player that has really developed well over the past couple of seasons. And you can see just the unreal production that he added to the NCAB last year, 132 points in 63 games. It, it seems kind of bonkers unfair for a player to have that type of production as well in the U18 World Juniors, where he put up 18 points in seven games. I don't even know how it was possible yet. Perot was doing it. But you just look all throughout last season. These are the stats in the NCDP, and he was right up there among the best in the class, like Will Smith, Ryan Leonard, players that went higher than him. But you can see Gabe Perot was first in scoring in the NCDP. 132 points, more than Will Smith's 127, way more than Ryan Leonard's 94. And you also look at the U18 World Juniors. I don't know why Elite Prospects is bugging out here, but Will Smith ended up with 20 points in the tournament, an unreal stat line. But Gabe Perot, right behind him with 18 points, points right up there again among the best here. And then, of course, we go on to this year where he had a stellar start with BC at the World Juniors would be instrumental in the U.S.'s gold medal win. And even though he wasn't the best player in the tournament, he was up there for sure, especially among right wingers. He was really consistent, really solid and had some really clutch goals for the U.S. And in big moments was able to come through. And this is a player that was looking good, looking solid and all throughout this year, just continue to get better and better. And then we get the update from Bucci, really summarizing Gabe Perot's dominance incredibly, saying that 18 years old, he had a goal and assist so far today and leads D1 college hockey men in points and is tied for assists. The 18-year-old has 14 goals, 34 assists, 48 points in 29 games. Now, no, Bucci is not lying to you when he talks about those stats. He has just been that good. You can see in 29 games with BC, he get, again has 48 points as a freshman here. It's not just like he's, you know, 21 years old and this is last year in college hockey where he's absolutely dominating. This is his first year doing this. This is his first season stepping up in a big role in this incredible system in college, in the best division in college hockey. Here he is absolutely dominant 
every single game. Now, of course, some of that production is because BC is an absolute wagon. I mean, look at their top four scores. All of them have 40 points or more. And of course, among that group is Will Smith, Cutter Gauthier, and Ryan Leonard. But you have all these players. You have Will Smith drafted top 10, Cutter Gauthier drafted top 10, Ryan Leonard drafted top 10, Cutter Gauthier, not even a top 10 pick from 2023. But R Gabe Perot, as a 23rd overall pick, coming here at 48 points, number one among all of them. Then you look at the NCAA scoring, and sure, of course, he comes in at number one in total points, which is obviously fantastic, but you also look at points per game, and he's still number one. The only one that kind of comes close is Colin Graff of Quinnipiac, and right now, Gabe Pro is kind of in a league of his own, still at the age that he's at. The craziest thing is not only is this his first year in the NCAA, he's also not one of these players that typically goes to the NCAA in his first year where, you know, he'll be in October or November birthday where he's on the older side of a draft class, comes in the NCAA, and looks fantastic. Gabe Perot was born in May, which means he's one of the younger players in the class last year. Yet he's doing this looking better than players in their mid-20s. That's what kind of shocked me the most. Gabe Perot is still 18. He's 18 leading the NCAA in points? You gotta be kidding me, dude. Now, again, him playing with so many studs in BC does help. Will Smith, I still think, can be an incredible player with the San Jose Sharks. Cutter Gauthier is going to be a stud with the Ducks as well. Ryan Leonard is just an absolute bulldog and will continue to be that with the Washington Capitals. All of these guys are going to be future NHL stars, or at least great production players. And in Gabe Perot's case, even though he was the least drafted out of all of them, this is a player that has just continued to get better and better. Better in the second half of last year, continues to get better in the first half and now the second half of this season it's just been incredible to watch the progress here and it's not like he got a lucky start and is coasting off that he has nine points four goals five assists over his last five games i don't understand how he keeps somehow getting better but this is just the world we're living in right now now it's kind of interesting talking about perot especially in his draft year and again that progression in his game because in the first half again i had him around the second round i thought he was a decent complimentary piece that could become maybe a solid swiss army knife third liner but as the year continued as production just got even crazier as the world juniors the u18 level where he absolutely was brilliant for the U.S. continued, we started to see kind of a different side with Gabe Perot here. This was a player that was starting to play drive more, starting to show even more aspects with the puck, even more aspects with his smarts, and just continue to get even more skilled and show those skills every single night. Especially at the U18 Worlds, we again started to see Perot become kind of a different player and more than just this complimentary piece. And that's what I think really started to rise his draft stock, specifically for me, where, you know, if he was just a third line complimentary guy, I would have probably had him in the late first round but you started to see more out of him even more production even more potential offensively and even though there were some concerns still with the skating and some of the speed there this was a player that i thought was just so smart with his positioning so smart and where he needed to be that it was never really a problem for me and even though his skating has improved a little bit this year it was never going to be the bread and butter for him what pro does best is being a great player positionally being a guy that always knows where to be and using great top end skill especially playmaking to really create pressure in the offensive zone. Pro looks to improve every single game, and that's what he's been doing with BC and will be doing with the New York Rangers here soon. Honestly, with the way Pro is progressing, I don't really know if he'll even be there for another couple of years. He might be there for next year, maybe, but Pro might show up in training camp next year and win a spot. I would not be surprised how good this guy gets every single year, how much improvement we see. If he's on the roster playing first line minutes, why the heck not? Now, in the NHL, I still see him being more of a complimentary piece, but not a complimentary piece that's on the third line and is just a solid guy there. To me, he is a guy that plays so well with elite play drivers. And especially in the New York Rangers system, if he's able to play alongside a guy like Artemi Panarin, it's over. If some type of line mate brings some great skill and some great play driving, Pro is going to be able to bash in goals, work off him well, and be able to really set up that tempo well. To me, Pro is going to be an amazing player to put against your best player put up with them and get some massive results from he has been doing this for so long for so many years now getting better and better at it and again if he's with the top rangers players if he's on that top six as a solid right wing he is going to put up massive production you could put him with panarin and trocek and i think he'd do blissful there you could also probably put him with Kreider and zabinajad maybe he brings an extra element there that could really complete a first line for the rangers this is exactly what they needed in the prospect pool though somebody on that 
right wing that can bring so much to the game and especially in Perot's case he could be exactly what the Rangers need in that top six for the future we'll see how much he's able to fix things by the time guys are a little bit older but I think Perot is going to be an amazing piece for this Rangers team that will add a lot of glow up to that top six but now we go on to that 2023 draft and looking at how it has progressed and obviously it's no surprise you have Bedard, Fantilli, Carlson playing in the NHL in their first years all looking pretty solid there you got Zach Benson as a big surprise playing in the NHL in his first year and he's been an absolute dog for Buffalo which you love to see but then you keep going and then you go on to where Gabe Perot was drafted 23rd overall to the New York Rangers and I saw it as a pretty solid steal at the time I saw it as a pick that would be a fantastic one for this Rangers team and exactly what they needed again in that prospect pool having him follow 23rd was a blessing in disguise you also look at the players that were drafted right before the him, players like Edward Schale, players like Charlie Stramel, that I don't think will be able to bring the offensive talent and compete that Gabe Perot brings. And even an Oliver Bonk. I mean, Bonk has definitely progressed well with London, but Gabe Perot in terms of total value at 23rd is looking incredible. But especially for a team like the Rangers, who's given up a lot of picks over the years, and their prospect pool has been pretty depleted. Brennan Offman is probably the best among them right now, besides Gabe Perot coming into the draft last year, and he's progressed pretty well in the age are looking solid but besides that they didn't really have too many surefire bets to be solid NHLers but Gabe Pro again at 23rd overall has been a brilliant pick for them is looking like a brilliant pick and is hopefully going to be a future stud for them in that top six looks like he kind of can complete that top six with the right wing side and especially how thin they are there especially considering often as a left wing and Pro continues to just look like the perfect pick for this Rangers team and this Rangers franchise going forward. But that'll be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning into this major Gabe Perot update. And of course, how he's looking with the Rangers in the future, how good of a steal he's looking at 23rd overall in the last draft. And of course, how he's going to be with this New York Rangers team. It's going to be really interesting to see how he does and how bright the Rangers future is with him. But I want to know in the comments down below, what do you guys think of Perot? How good can he be? Is he the draft steal of the 2023 draft? Let us know all your thoughts down below. And of course, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell if you haven't already. And share the video all the hockey, all the rangers fans you guys know online and click on this card up here for all of my hockey prospect talk right in one playlist my name is nathan have a great hockey day and i will see you in the next one goodbye